Hi, this is Aubrey, and welcome to a trackless art tutorial. Several years ago, during Humble Bundle Mojam, I came up with a new art style that I really liked and I've been wanting to use in a new project, but it had a couple of problems. Despite its simple style, it was still pretty hard to make, relying on modeling software that I don't really enjoy working in and taking more time than you would expect. I've been trying various tools and shaders, and I've finally come up with a fast and efficient workflow that doesn't require UVing or even using a modeling app. Let me show you how it works. First, you draw out the basic shapes that you think you'll need. This is probably the hardest part to get right, but don't worry, you can fix problems later. Today I'm drawing a scooter. Since this technique relies on alpha transparency, you need to fill in the shapes. Save your PSD to your game assets, select it in Unity, and change its type to Sprite. Then change its Sprite mode to Multiple. Hit Sprite Editor, Apply Changes, and go up here to slice your sprite. Now we can drag your slices into the 3D view. This is a good time to create an empty object to hold our slices. I'm going to call this Scooter Prefab. The default shader I like to use for this is the Nature Soft Tree Occlusion Leaves with Base Light Maxed and Occlusion set to zero. This gives you vertex-based lighting, but it also looks fine fully lit. Placing the slices is my favorite part. I forgot a few things, but I left plenty of space to add them to the texture sheet. Back in the sprite editor, make sure you change this to safe. This is probably the most important thing. I added a few small details like more shading and the asset was done. Here's what the final asset looks like in a scene with lighting. This style isn't perfect for every game, but I finished the whole scooter in under an hour. I didn't have to worry about tricky import-export details or model formats, and use only one art application. Here is how the scooter looks in the game. Obviously, I use the same technique for other assets. It works especially well on objects with a complicated silhouette. Here I cheated a bit and used a cylinder for the pipe. If you want to see more of this art, you can back the game on FIG and help make Trackless a reality. Thanks.